good morning and welcome back to the channel we are currently out camping in the ozarks we're on beginning day three of a four-day trip through from east to west in the ozark national forest it rained on us last night it rained pretty hard um, but we survived the the rainstorm we got all the kids loaded up this morning for breakfast we brought some muffins pre-made we knew that there was chances of rain we always like to have a breakfast that's just ready to go so we can hop in the vehicle and take off or something we don't have to cook we just don't feel like doing it in the rain right now and thankfully saw the lightning coming last night before we went to bed and got most of our stuff picked up so took down the bathroom tent and things like that it's just easier to not have to do it in the rain when it's all wet and pack it up wet so that's what we did last night now we're gonna head on down the road towards Oark. hopefully we have enough gas to get there we've got about a quarter tank left i did some rough calculations on what mileage we've been getting so far running air down dirt roads pulling the trailer obviously about as bad a gas mileage as we can possibly get and the big detour yesterday really added we added 15 miles on yesterday and we've probably got to go we've got a shorter route back we're going to jump on the highway and go back to save mileage so that we can hopefully make it to the gas station but we're probably going to add another five or six miles on what we would have done we've added probably 20 25 miles all together on top of what we had planned which is a lot considering each one of these days is about 45 to 50 miles of driving you're adding another half a day on so hopefully we have enough fuel to get there but we're gonna we're loaded up so we're gonna head down the road and see where we get to completely back on track at this point, which is nice from our major alternate route from yesterday. But if you've seen some of our older videos, you may have seen this place. This is Bub's Cabin. And it's a really neat, really neat place. Um, we'll give you a quick tour 
for those that haven't seen some of our previous videos. But if you do come out to a place like this, any any kind of historic place, especially like this is owned privately and the guy that owns it lets people come in. If he's out here, he'll tell you a ton of history and it's, it's really fascinating. It's really neat to talk to him. But uh, anytime you come to a place like this, just be careful. Don't tear things out. Be respectful of the property and history. So, But we'll show you around a little bit. That was the house. Oh well, here too. I'm gonna run over here and show you the barn. It's pretty, pretty cool. And the, he keeps this whole place really well maintained. I mean, just look at this. It takes a lot of work to do this, and it's it's interesting to hear the history. Just think about what things were like in the past and how different they are now. Some ways good, some ways bad, but just very different different life and yet very much the same same problems same struggles just different now this is the barn really really neat barn I love old barns so so neat a water trough down there it's just really neat history I love old places love seeing how they're built love the structure of them I, I could live in a place like this. <laughs> Just, I love old places. I love the country. <laughs> That's about all there is here. There's a few other things, but we're going to look around a little bit more and then head on down the road. And I think this next little section of the road is probably the roughest part that we'll be on that I know of. It might get interesting, hopefully not too bad. Depends on how rutted or worn out it's gotten since the last time we were through here. But be interesting to see. And then we'll get to Oark a little later. Hopefully about lunchtime.
we've made it out to pavement. So we're back on pavement for a short distance and we'll be back on dirt road and drop down into Oark area. But uh, that's probably, probably the roughest portion of the road that we'll be on the whole trip. Though there are some up ahead. There's a road that's closed that was on my route, so we're gonna have to find an alternate route. And I don't know these roads very well, so we'll be exploring new territory over there. But we're gonna roll on down and see if we can get down to a work. So a slight change of plans. The road we were gonna go down to get to Oark is closed. They're working on it right now. So we've got to go an alternate route, which should be okay. We've been doing pretty good on fuel. But we'll see. This is gonna add a few more miles again, so don't know. We gotta find a spot to turn around, double back, head back north a ways, and then try this other road and see if it'll get us down in there and hope we don't run out of gas. Alright, we're back on dirt road. So that's nice anyway. We got less than an eighth of tank of gas at this point and probably, I don't really know how many miles to go. We'll see. Hopefully this road is good the whole way. We don't know. We're just exploring. <laughs> and trying to get there before we run out of gas. If it ends up not being a good road, we'll be in trouble. But I'm pretty sure it's a good road. So we'll see if we make it. So our good road has rapidly deteriorated. It was not a road that I hoped it would be. So we probably only have a mile to two miles of road before I know we get to a good dirt road. But we also have to go straight down a mountain. So this could get very interesting and we're under an eighth tank of gas so there's really no option besides whoa we're sliding off the road that's soft um there's really no option besides push on and hope we can go down this hill if we can't well <laughs> it's gonna be interesting
low fuel light is officially on. We got all kinds of lights on, as usual. We have made it back to a good dirt road. That road went downhill fast. Literally, <laughs> downhill fast. It actually did not get as bad as I was afraid it might. Some of those roads, they'll start going downhill and they'll be washed out and they get really sketchy. That one was pretty consistent all the way down, but it was still, got my adrenaline pumping a little bit. Going downhill, all the gas runs to the front of the tank and the fuel pump is in the back. So I was afraid we would die going down the hill and I was engine braking the whole time. Basically ran that whole hill last two miles in four low first gear engine braking. So pretty sketchy, about as sketchy as I would want to do with the trailer. But we're down on good road and not too far from, actually we hit pavement near less than a half a mile probably. And then we'll be at uh, Oark. So turned out pretty good, pretty fun, a little sketchy. Got, we got fuel, 27 something gallons, $98. We're keeping this place in business. They said I could park over here, so I'm gonna back up and park here. And we're gonna have some lunch, because they got good food here. And somehow Sarah's never eaten it. I eat here every time I work up in Oart, but Sarah hadn't been here, so we're gonna get some food. We are sufficiently stuffed. Definitely come out here. Burgers are excellent. Pie was good. Kids had ice cream. So we are full of food and full on fuel and ready to move on. And we got some plum jelly and some t-shirts. So we're set up. We're gonna move on and head on west. Yep. Stopped off here at High Bank. High Bank Twin Falls, you just go down the road, it's over there. It's a nice little dual waterfall when the water's up. It'll be probably bone dry right now. But this is one of the put-ins we put in here and float down the mulberry to uh, Redding or on down somewhere. Creek's looking good though. Obviously low, but it's still pretty. So we're finally on the mulberry. So we've been on multiple branches of the bayou. We've been on Big Piney, we've been by Little Piney, we've been on Hurricane Creek, we've been, there's another creek we were crossed, and now we're at the Mulberry. So we're gonna hunt around and find a spot over here somewhere. Not really sure where, but we're gonna find something. So our secondary route evidently is also closed. Maybe. Maybe. So we're trying to figure out where we're gonna go. We've been trying to find a camp spot and we're gonna deal with the road closure issue tomorrow. Our original road was closed, now our secondary road also appears to be closed. We passed probably a dozen or more campsites and they've all been full except for one that wasn't very good, but we may go back if we can't find something. We got a little bit more we can try before we get to the road closure and we'll see what happens there and we've got a couple more side roads we can check out and see if there's spots so maybe we'll find something soon this is a, maybe this is well i think we might have just found a site like the last road we were going to check out i think we'll make this work not the best one we've seen but not the worst either so 
I think we will just make this work. We are mostly set up here. We got all our hammocks out finally. Found a good spot for those. Got all our wet clothes drying. They were out, all the swim clothes and stuff were out drying last night, but then obviously it rained on them and we just packed up. So got those out drying. We'll probably go swim and chill in the lake or the creek later down there. Pretty good, pretty good camp spot. But we just disconnected the trailer. We're gonna run down the road. We're just a couple miles from where the sign says the road is closed. So we're trying to figure out what our route is for tomorrow. So we're gonna go see where the road is closed and that'll tell us what we need to plan for tomorrow. Hopefully it's closed at a specific junction so we can still go down it and head down another road. If it's not, we may have to take a really wide rope route around like we've been doing some other times. But we're just gonna run down and see, see if we can figure out what tomorrow is gonna to entail. Well, we found our road closure. Looks like they're redoing a bridge here. So it was a little sooner than we were hoping. So we'll go back to camp and I'll figure out how we're gonna get where we wanna go tomorrow. Should be interesting. This right here is what drives me crazy about people with side-by-sides. They drove through the creek, illegal. They're not on a road, illegal. They're parking in the creek bay, illegal. And they just like rolled through our camp. I mean, that's just obnoxious, but what they're doing is illegal. Side-by-side -side people, you really need to respect things more or you're gonna get a lot more places shut down. I think we figured out our route for tomorrow. It's gonna be a pretty big detour from what we planned what we hoped, but it's probably the best route that we can do with what we've got on our third road closure of the day. Oh, the day. So, you mean the week? Well, oh, all of them were today. Were yeah, all the road closures were today. Which one One we expected, two we didn't. But dealing with road closures, it's making us go way around. But we'll deal with it. It'll be all right. We're ahead of schedule on my original route, so it's not too big a deal. But Sarah's getting some supper together. We got some of our potatoes that we raised in the garden. Boiling up some potatoes. We'll put some cheese and sour cream on it and heat up some beans, it looks like. So we're going to chill around here, eat some supper, hang out for the evening, maybe go down to the creek a little bit now that the side-by-sides are gone. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Just going to hang around and eat some supper. We're out here at the creek, just enjoying the evening and the chaos of having children. But fish have been biting a little bit. I caught a large mouth and a little small mouth and a little bluegill. So I'm gonna try to get right over here where this water's running in. See if I might be able to catch another one over here. There he goes. Got another fish. Good looking, good looking largemouth. Not very big, but good looking fish. Well, 
Oh, it's beautiful. And the fishing's been good. I caught several large mouth, small mouth. Not like nothing huge, but it was fun. Creek fishing is a lot of fun. This has definitely been the best fishing spot on our trip so far. Might have to try to get out here early in the morning and hit it again. But beautiful creek. I, I've spent the least amount of time on the mulberry compared to the other two creeks uh, to the bayou and Big Piney. But man, I, it's really pretty. A really pretty creek. And the fishing's good. So. But we're going to head back to camp. I uh, just love that sunset. What's left of it? Evening, evening light. Sound of the creek. We're going to head back to camp and get some sleep so we can hit it again in the morning. So we'll see you in the morning. Here we have a bullfrog. Hey, buddy. What's up?